Hello there and welcome to this week's update from the symptom study app and there's been lots of news. The first is the rates of new cases across the UK has continued to rise. We're now well over 3,000 cases a day which is higher than at any point since the end of June when everything started to change. And this is the second week we've seen a consistent rise and is alongside other data from around the country showing an R of about 1.2. We're seeing differences in the regions though, still most of these upsurges are uh, in the north of England and Scotland and possibly also coming back in Northern Ireland. And we're seeing London and the southeast relatively uh, unaffected at present, although that could change. So we need to be very vigilant that if these rates continue, uh, we could be facing a, a national lockdown within a few weeks because uh, it's an exponential increase in these numbers. Now, so far, the case has been mild, but we're starting to see deaths starting to creep up. So the, the death rate may not be as high as we saw in the spring, but certainly enough to worry about and mess up our economy and uh, cause considerable damage. So the other thing we've we've highlighted this week is on school kids showing that the symptoms that um, adults get aren't seen in the under 18s. They do not get um, the cough or shortness of breath to the same extent as adults and around 50% of children do not have any of the, the big three symptoms including loss of smell, uh, fever and uh, chest symptoms. So be on your lookout for other types of symptom, headaches, sore throats, uh, unusual rashes, and particularly uh, loss of appetite and tummy problems, uh, which may go unnoticed otherwise. Now, at the moment, there isn't a lot of testing capacity uh, unless you're uh, using the app. Uh, so when in doubt or you're waiting for your result, keep your kids at home uh, if at all worried. Now, we want people to log on for their children. Uh, because we're trying to build up a network of children and schools. And if everyone does this, we'll have a fantastic resource so you'll know how safe not only your local community is, but how uh, safe your local school is. So keep logging, log for your kids, keep spreading the word, and hopefully we can stop anything worse happening. Stay safe.